I think that when you're writing a novel like this, where you're drilling down on two characters and creating a contrast between them, uh, there is, as you said, just more information and more books than anyone can read, uh, any one person could read. And so what it comes down to, what'll make the effective novel versus the ineffective novel is not um, whether you manage to stuff in all the information that you can possibly get. It doesn't, it isn't even about finding rare, unusual little factoids and then putting those in. Those won't necessarily make an effective novel. Um, I believe that what makes an effective novel is the architecture and the emphasis, yeah. you know? So whenever you're an artist, you're always emphasizing certain details and de-emphasizing others in order to create a picture, create um, an intense sort of vision of each one of those characters and how they how they interact. And so I, you know, there is a lot of information in the map and the scissors. I think it's over 300 pages. Yes. But, but it doesn't include all everything about both of those characters. It right. often, you know, takes out it actually takes out a whole bunch of other characters. So Liaquat Ali Khan, who was Jinnah's right hand man, you don't hear too much about him because as an artist, I had to de-emphasize him in order to show you Jinnah more vividly and keep you from getting distracted by, you know, um, you know, by all these other characters who are around them. The Hindu Mahasabha, which was a force in the, in, in the independent struggle, but didn't end up having very much effect at the time. You know, it's actually the ancestor of the modern day BJP, in a sense, you could consider it. Right. Like that. But, but at the time... In 1947, the the Congress, the Indian National Congress, which is the ancestor of modern day Congress Party, although that's gone through a lot of transformations as well, that was the central player. That was a central player, and the All India Muslim League was a central player. So yeah. you know, and Baldev Singh, the person who uh, was the advocate for the Sikhs, he doesn't have very much of a role either because. The map and the scissors is not a comprehensive history of the entire independence struggle. It's two guys. And I, and it, you know, the research involved not just finding stuff. It also involved, okay, that's not necessary for me. That's not necessary for the reader. That's not. So it's actually a process of exclusion. And because there's so much, the real test is, do you have the courage to exclude entire chunks of stuff and still tell the truth? Thank you.